Welcome then to Miami for the Miami Royal Cup, the second event of the 52 Super Series 2017. Sunshine State and it's the city of uh, martinis, Lamborghinis and bikinis and the 52 Super Series. Incredibly close racing in Key West. It's going to be equally close, if not closer, here in Miami. So Tony Langley, exciting day for you, new boat. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Well, but we can't wait to get out, get out there. You know, we've been uh, we've been pressed on the dock for the last three days. So, uh, what was the reason for taking on the new boat? Well, uh, Ed has sailed with the with the boatine designs a lot, and and that was starting to to make a lot of sense to the way that I drive the boat, you know, with wheels. They're certainly kinder to wheel steering than tiller steering. I think we were probably made this move on the next new boat, which would have been a, a year on. So the opportunity came up and uh, we're there a year earlier now. What's the focus today then? You, you know, no, nobody's sailed this boat yet. So we, you know, we need to <laughs> we just need to figure out where everything work, goes and how everything works. You know, but short, short crew have done a great job. We're getting it ready. So great disappointment for the French team in Paprec, great regatta in uh, Key West, but they lost their mast on Saturday and unable to take part in the regatta. We don't know exactly what's, uh, what's happened. First we thought that it was a four state, uh, um, the connection of the four state with the mast that broke because we had the feeling that it was the, the jib that fall in the water first. But at the same time we had one of the stanchions that broke and most of the crew fall in the water. So we were more concentrated on getting all the crew back on board than looking at what happened with the mast. But the indomitable Patrick spirit prevailed. They still wanted to get on the water and enjoy Florida. So race one got underway in 15 to 20 knots of breeze with the wind angle 115 degrees. A great start from Quantum Racing, Gladiator and Platoon in particular. The top third of the beat, Azura read it best and led around the top mark just ahead of Quantum Racing. These two really stepped uh, clear. The right paid on the second beat and that allowed Quantum Racing to get back ahead. They led down the final run. The uh, leeward gate, a problem for uh, Brunanisek and Sorsha, both struggling at the gate. Uh, Brunanisek losing their kite over the side. The final run then, Azura came back a little bit just uh, pipped by Quantum Racing Quantum Racing winning the first race with Azura second Platoon third Ran Racing the fourth and Provetza in fifth we needed to clean our way to sail and just don't lose this kind of points because the level is so high that uh, every point uh, will be very important at the end Race two, the breeze much the same, about 16, 17 knots off the start line, still bumpy. Wind axe is still 115. Ran Racing made the best start, but it was a very uh, difficult first speed to read, but it was extremely close at the top mark between Brunanisek, Prevets and Blatoon. That was pretty much the order all the way round uh, up to the uh, second time up. Brunanisek, Prevets and Platoon coming in very, very close. Brunanisek undercooked the lay line very slightly, ended up on the mark. Prevets and Platoon and uh, Azura all got away down the final run. Uh, down, almost coming into the finish line, it was very close between Azura, Platoon and Provetza. But Platoon just pipped it on the line to win. Azura getting second with uh, Provetza in third. Nasty collision on the second beat between uh, Sled and uh, Gladiator. Gladiator uh, badly damaged. Unfortunately, they're going to have to bring down the previous boat, uh, which is about 70 miles away. They're going to miss a day's racing and uh, a lot of work to do for the uh, shore team on the Gladiator, but they hope to be racing again in a couple of days' time. Uh, it was just a case of port starboard, unfortunately. Luckily, we were on starboard, not port, so but it's a uh, yeah, Sled entered us from the side there. As you can see, it's um, kind of put this boat out of contention for certainly the rest of this week and we've just now got to concentrate our efforts firstly on uh, getting the spare boat which we luckily now have uh, up at West Palm back on the water um, and then getting this one ready for Scarlino. It's sad to see this major damage and uh, everybody's so lucky that nobody got seriously hurt. Huh? After two races of the Miami Royal Cup, Platoon leading on uh, four points, Azura on four points in second, Quantum on five points in third, Provetza on eight points in fourth, and in fifth, the Ran Racing on 12 points. So a very dramatic first day here at the Royal Cup Miami, uh, lots of wind, uh, bouncy conditions uh, and uh, some drama on the water. Platoon just leading uh, and no more uh, after the first day of racing, Azura breathing down their necks uh, and a lighter breeze conditions for the second day. Join us then.